I think um, there are a lot of proposed um, some kind of grand project that the United States and the Western Alliance are trying to 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 speak about. And sometimes when they have meeting like G7, G20, they come up with these things. But the problem with them is the, the follow through and also the planning. It's not really well conceptualized, well planned. And also the financing is not ready. Unlike the Belt and Road Initiative that you can see that from the time that it was conceptualized in 2013, be, even before the implementation, there's a well um, thought plan and there's a the funding is there and you know the commitment coming from China is solid. So that's why it attracts a lot of participants. And But for this IMEC or some kind of built back better of the United States, it's always like a buzzword, but it's like an air. It's like a balloon that is, you know, that when you poke a little and it just explodes and it's all air. So I think that's the lesson that many countries in the global south are learning when you talk about the United States proposing something. There is that kind of ambivalence. And also, in most cases, these are geopolitical um, plan, um, like, or scheme and they always um kind of isolate um or isolate china or other countries like russia it's not as inclusive still at the end is financial consideration because i don't think the united states can afford financing a huge project like i make right now given the the economic conditions that they have given the recession that they're experiencing and one more thing they're still financing the ukraine crisis and they're releasing a lot of money and even american people are not happy about this so i think these are realities that the americans and even us are facing but you know um still i mean they're well, the, the current government, I think, is blind to it or they just turn a blind eye about all of these things.